today is the second day for this special lecture. Um, thank you very much for being with me here to, uh, this afternoon. Uh, this is the second, but uh, I, it's not on my YouTube yet, but uh, this is the um, chance for me to start the YouTube. Uh, so I'm gonna make it uh, as soon as possible. And then you can, you can see that on the uh, university uh, site. This is, uh, this is a special lecture for uh, PNU, Pusan National University. Uh, it's about, uh, I have the title here, but not the complete one, but I'm gonna read it anyway. It is in Korean now. Uh, the, it's, it's a kind of like this. The, uh, the unity of uh, Eastern uh, Buddhism and Taoism and then uh, Western postmodern uh, ethics and so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's, it's, it's about uh, Asia, uh, Eastern Asia, but uh, uh, we don't have to just talk about uh, limiting, I mean, this world, uh, limiting ourselves to this. But um, we're living in the uh, contemporary era, of course. Uh, when you say contemporary era, of course, 20th century is included. But uh, actually, presently, is, when you say now, it's uh, 21st century. Now, uh, more, even more than 20th century, and much more than, of course, much more than uh, the previous centuries, like 19th century. Uh, it's needless to say that. Um, today, when you count uh, past 10 years or 20 years, uh, it's really surprising. It's really shocking to see that how Western people like the United States uh, people, Americans, and also Europeans accepted um, Eastern uh, thought, culture, and so on, like meditation. I told you uh, even 20 to 25% of the whole population of the United States meditate. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, isn't that, isn't that uh, uh, surprising? It's, it's shocking. I mean, uh, the merits of these people, uh, Americans is that they, they have all all different parts of the uh, different uh, thoughts and cultures and so on. And then they can choose, of course. So they don't exactly call it Buddhism. I mean, Buddhist, but they know it's rooted in Buddhism. But um, anyway, they meditate that there are lots of Christian uh, Buddhists, or uh, exactly speaking, Buddhist Christians. They are Christians, but they uh, believe in God as um, uh, Buddhists. I don't want to use believe in, but uh, a Buddhist think about or consider um, Shakyamuni Buddha, or Buddha is just you, the real you, uh, or true self. Anyway, um, uh, we talked talked much about that last last time a week ago, and then uh, there were two sections. But when you got to uh, my YouTube uh, later on or um, uh, uh, university site, you're gonna see four different sections. And now today we're gonna have uh, 30 minutes each. So one, two, three, four, four different sections we're gonna have. Uh, for, uh, I told you the first one, the text for the first one was my second book, uh, awakening through literature and film uh, into the dancing light. Uh, this is the second book published in the United United Kingdom uh, last June, uh, and it's more understandable, more easier, if you will, uh, is easier than this. But this is the completely uh, uh, academic one, 
which received an academic one year uh, academic awards is is uh, perfectly academic, but I'm gonna make it easy. Okay, um, I'm gonna make it very understandable, and uh, of course, I'm not going through uh, even one chapter. No, uh, I'm gonna go through this. Um, Okay, this is just, oh, here uh, we see the um, title and also uh, here, here. Okay, uh, let's begin. Uh, so it's going like uh, around to 35 or something. Okay, um, I'll try my best to make it easy. Um, but this is still uh, academic because this is anyway, a uh, university special lecture. Uh, it's not for the public uh, wholly. Of course, uh, it's good for the public to use this. Um, so, uh, important things are, uh, your interest, right? And then aesthetics, uh, I'm a professor of English, English literature, uh, more specifically teaching, uh, literary criticism or the criticism of literature and film, uh, painting, music, whatever, uh, but, uh, primarily, of course, English literature and aesthetics, okay? And then uh, it means intellectual, uh, intellectualization or intellectuality. Uh, you know, you have to know something, okay? Uh, learning, but what's more important, okay? Much more important, spirituality. If you just uh, acquire intellectual knowledge, Without spirituality, then uh, your mind goes to discern between good and evil, what's good for you and what's bad for you. But uh, you're not going to uh, keep in your mind the most important uh, issue or the ultimate reality. You don't know what that is. You don't know what you are. Okay. Um, I'm not talking about the personality, but what is uh, inexpressible. Now, uh, so for all people, okay, uh, whether whether people are in Bangladesh or in Tibet or the United States or in even North Korea or Japan or in Busan here as we are now. Now here, East and West, I already told you uh, this, era is the 21st century when we gather together. East, West, uh, actually, we can go on to say uh, North and South, of course, but uh, we usually go uh, for this too, East and West, uh, I mean, uh, uh, language matter. So you, humanity as a whole in inequality, the same kind, Easiness, or uh, 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 oh, oh, I'm gonna make it easy, but um, uh, yeah, it, this is issue. This matter is an easy one, uh, but you, as the beginner, if you're a beginner of this kind of thinking, then it's gonna be difficult. You feel, but it's not really difficult. Okay, just open your mind. <laughs> As I keep saying in my class, um, open your mind, okay? Open your mind doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to open my mind, um, uh, thing like that, but uh, just, just go natural, okay? Go natural. Uh, just... Uh, you can say this, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, you just accept what I say uh, uh, first, 
And then after on, after that, after uh, finishing this lecture, you can uh, think about uh, right or wrong uh, facts about this. But, but, but I'm talking about the, the most important thinkers of the um, world over the whole world. So don't worry, okay? You can accept this. Okay, religious people, uh, phil philosophers, and um, artists, and so on. Now, in my book, this book, uh, I don't have these photos. I just, uh, before this lecture, uh, like 30 minutes ago, actu actually, I put these two uh, photos from Wikipedia, okay, Wikipedia. So, uh, uh, there's no danger to be caught by the law uh, for this. Um, so this is Emmanuel Levinas. Emmanuel Kant starts with uh, I, but uh, this guy starts with E. So Emmanuel Levinas, uh, he uh, died uh, after living 90 years, okay? 89 or 90 years, uh, and Deleuze, like 70 years to lose, guys to lose. Okay, um, now here, what I have is here and I don't have to show you photos. So I'm switching the, uh, this, um, oh, oh uh, okay, uh, here both. Let's go to the bold uh, fonts. Both Levinas and Deleuze paved the way uh, to, to the ultimate, okay, uh, ultimate uh, trans phenomenon. Trans means beyond, okay, beyond, higher than something. So trans uh, phenomenon, or it can, it can be used as the word to indicate something that is in between, okay? When something is switch, being switched to this. But it's anyway not seen. It's not phenomenal, but trans phenomenal, totality and infinity, despite the fact that the loose, actually both, actually both, but uh, the loose seems more like that. So both, I don't have that word here in my book, but I just put here and I don't have any color. It's just white and blue, black, black and white. So, uh, I mean, like any other book uh, without photo. Now both uh, first appears to detest well, um, I better switch again back to this. Okay, that's better. Uh, employing, uh, to detest employing such terms as transcendence and truth. They didn't like it. Okay, they didn't, they didn't like transcendence, uh, truth, which are essential words for uh, Levinas. I mean, so, um, I have two issues to explain here. Both uh, Levinas and Deleuze didn't like this word um, uh, transcendence and also this word truth. And it's the same uh, as others. Others didn't like it. I mean, uh, 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 Derrida, Jacques Derrida, uh, Jean-Luc Nancy and whole lot of uh, other postmodernists and post-structuralists did not like it. Why? Because transcendence means Chowol uh, in Korean. Uh, that means something beyond some uh, uh, that, but in the classical meaning, it means something uh, phenomenally beyond, so higher. So it's like, oh, God, like, like uh, as they call in, in, in church. 
So that's uh, in any condition, transcendence. And there's no transcendence. I, I don't have to talk about Ferdinand de Saussure and, and a whole lot of others, Bauchin in Russia and so on. But transcendence, there is no, they found, I mean, throughout the uh, whole modernist era, especially the ending part, they found there is no transcendence like that or a truth like that. So postmodernists, uh, said uh, there's no transcendence, but uh, that's not all. You have to listen to me more. Uh, so transcendence and truth, there is no phenomenon of transcendence or phenomenal truth, okay? There is the uh, transcendence and there is the truth and ultimate reality in the sense of postmodern ethics. Okay, that's what they did. But uh, of course, it was misunderstood by people. So that's why uh, they didn't like it uh, so much. So which are, uh, but it's essential for Levinas, especially Levinas, because he is number one ethicist. Okay, here, uh, this is one of the reasons why, especially uh, Deleuze didn't like that this word. Transcendence is uh, a specifically European disease. In other words, that represents uh, Rene Descartes' word, I think, therefore I am, okay? What I'm thinking is the truth. How come you're thinking is the truth? That's the uh, thought of dictator, okay? This e e e e egoic, idea of the subjectivity. Now, moral, okay? They didn't like this word, moral, morality. Why? Why is moral, uh, morality bad? It's good. Of course it's good, but it's not that good when uh, it comes to be phenomenal, okay? One person, I like this, uh, good, I think this is good and this is evil, but another person says, this is good and this is evil. Uh, so this country and this country fight, uh, killing each other, okay, people. So uh, postmodern ethics, Nietzsche and Kant already said this. They said ethics, okay, ethics is more important. Eth in ethics, equality, equality between men and women, equality uh, between other countries and so on and so forth. L uh, Deleuze and Guattari, like Lacan and Levinas uh, affirm that the fundamental uh, human desire is one that does not lack anything. This is very important. Wow. How come you can say that? Yes, this is right. Desire, uh, when you're egoistic as, as a subject, you uh, desire to have a lot of money or you desire uh, to have a, have a big fame or a lot of knowledge and be famous, get famous. That's egoist, that's self-centered, okay, self-centered. That comes from lack. There's no lack, but you feel like, there's a lack in your, yourself. So I want to uh, have that uh, beautiful woman or marry that woman, or I want to have that country. So we have to conquer that country, or I want to have a billion one, a uh, hundred billion one, and so on. So it's, it's, it's coming from your lack, okay? Does not, but actually uh, the pure desire that uh, Lacan, Levinas, Deleuze were talking about does not lack anything. It does not come from the lack, but it's a uh, desire to uh, help others, for example, and just do something in the world uh, for the world. It's not from egoistic desire. So thus, thus not a wish to satisfy a need uh, or feel a void. Now here, it's the same uh, here in Taoism. In Taoism, it is not a question of experiencing desire as an in, uh, internal lack, nor of delaying pleasure. Uh, see, 
in order to this, uh, produce a uh, kind of externalizable surplus value, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so uh, Tao means in Korean it's Do, okay, Do. Uh, I think it's Do uh, in Chinese, but uh, anyway, Tao, yes. Tao is this, okay? Um, I just show, showed you, okay? I showed you last time this, the center of Korean national flag. This is called Tao, okay? But Tao means subject and object. You always feel superior uh, to this or inferior, okay? inferiority, superiority. So you're stressed or too much proud, uh, full of yourself and so on. Now, that's the ego, okay? Yourself, false self. But Tao, Do is uh, anyway the one, one of this and that, okay? I told you, even killing is not 100% bad, uh, why is that so? Killing is, of course, terrible, horrible thing. But uh, in the middle of the war, you have to kill your enemy uh, right in front of you, trying to kill you, right? You have to kill first. So uh, uh, good and evil are actually one. The Taeguk, the Tao, is, looks this way, okay? This is, uh, below and it's, it's going up, so they are uh, one. Now, counter effect of des desire and so on. Now, so uh, in Levinas, the terms, the pure uh, means, pure, uh, pure desire is the subject's pri uh, primary desire for infinity of the other, infinity of, you uh, 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 need some explanation, infinity of the other, other means here, the outside of or exteriority uh, of the ego, okay? uh, egoic desire. So uh, I put uh, what's in the brackets, there is no bracket in my book here, but uh, I did it for you. Oh, and of course the color too. Uh, pure concept, uh, it's pure means purity beyond any concepts. Pure means beyond both pure and impure, okay? Pure and impure. So there's no concept of pure. There's a book. It's a concept. There's no book. No book is also what you know, and that is a concept. So beyond this and this, it is inexpressible, okay? Now, uh, it's going to be explained again later on. Uh, the deluded sense uh, nomadic, it's, 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 not, it's stillness, okay? It's spiritual stillness, but stillness doesn't mean you stop and still, no. <laughs> you always move actively and in the middle of that movement, uh, you're still. So uh, what the loose means is nomadic, nomadic, okay? Uh, not just wandering, but move a lot in in pla uh, uh, plane. Now here, uh, the middle way. Uh, last week I called a trans middle because uh, I don't want to be mistaken here. Uh, it's not really middle. Tau, think about Tau, it's not middle between this and that, but uh, this is trans phenomenal. So it's, uh, we're living everyday life in phenomenal world. So when you have to decide, it has to be this or this, okay? There's no question. But trans phenomenally, this is middle way, Jungdo in Korean, so it's, um, Transmitter, that's what I coined. Now, Fatsang is a Chinese 
a Chinese person. This is, uh, he uh, gave a very excellent uh, explanation of uh, Avatam Saka Sutra, which is flower ornament sutra, that's uh, Hwamgyong in, in Korean, the supreme text of Huayan uh, in Chinese uh, uh, accent, Huayan Buddhism, and is very important Buddhism in Mahayana Buddhism, uh, the North countries Buddhism here, uh, China, Japan, Korea, uh, Tibet and so on. It, uh, here, uh, oceanic feeling. He said it's uh, oceanic reflection. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, according to Kant, it's uh, the summary, the concentration uh, uh, state or something of things in themselves or thing in itself or things in themselves as such. It's, it's gonna be explained, uh, don't worry. Now, Bergsonian intuition, uh, transcendental imp empiricism. So Deleuze also use, uses transcendence, okay? But transcendence in a real meaning like uh, Levinas does. So transcendence on the one hand and on the other empiricism empiricism, in other words, um, thoughts about experience. So both go together, okay? Not transcendental and then transcendental. Noumena and phenomena according to Kant. Now Deleuze, uh, so Levinas's uh, philosophy, uh, alterity means otherness. Alter means, uh, 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 something uh, for God, right? Burning or something. So it's a uh, uh, stage for that. So otherness, East, in terms of Eastern um, philosophy and religion like Buddhism and uh, Taoism is true self, the real I, but the Western philosophers are used so much used to distinguish between subject and object. So they say otherness outside, but it's actually inside and it's the matter of language. Inside is outside. I mean, when you talk about uh, not, not in a plain sense, but the, the most inner, innermost sense is the outside, okay? Now, Oh, this is already um, the end of part one. So uh, 30 minutes has passed. Uh, any question now before we uh, have a break in English or in Korean? Okay, then uh, we're gonna have five to 10 minute break and come back here and start uh, with this. Thank you very much. <laughs>